Album of the week uh, this week uh, goes to, drum roll, it goes to uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Blood Sugar, Sex Magic. And uh, there's both a photographer and also an artist as well involved uh, in the production of this particular album cover. And it's kind of like an absolutely classic album cover. You just recognize it a mile off when you see it. And it's probably one of their best albums to date, if I'm honest. Um, so let's get into it. Let's get into this album. So let me switch over to the right tab. Here we go. Right, so um, the album came out in uh, 1991. It was recorded during 1990 and 1991. Came out in September 91 and has got some of the, the biggest tracks uh, that they ever kind of released, I think, the Red Hot, Red Hot Chili Peppers. So everything from like Under the Bridge, which is an absolutely classic uh, album, uh, Give It Away, uh, uh, classic album, classic song even, uh, Give It Away, another cr a real classic song that they uh, created, Suck My Kiss, amazing. Uh, I think uh, there's a few others in there as well, but I think Under the Bridge, probably the biggest single um, from this particular album, 100%. One of the biggest singles. And yeah, so they created it in 91. And uh, kind of like a combination of funk rock, funk metal. But in terms of the artwork, the, if we go into Wikipedia, you can see like on the artwork it says here. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, all photography, paintings and art direction uh, for the album were credited to filmmaker Gus Van Sant. And he effectively created um, some of the incredible um, videos for the actual singles. So he was kind of responsible for the artistic direction of the album itself. And um, yeah, I mean, the cover of the album features four band members' faces positioned around a rose and kind of like their tongues have kind of been illustrated. So effectively it was two guys who came up with this. The first guy um, was Hank Schiffermacher. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. But effectively he was... Um, uh, a very famous tattoo artist who uh, tattooed a lot of rock stars, including the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, kind of has published loads of books, very well, kind of um, very well established uh, tattooed people, including um, uh, Kurt Cobain, Lemmy, lots of uh, people uh, have been tattooed by him. And he kind of came, this is kind of his website. He's got lots of, um, it's kind of hard to kind of find his work. He hasn't actually got like a portfolio of work as such, probably because he's been so pr prolific, I guess, over the years. Um, so, I mean, he's got some incredible uh, t-shirts, uh, which he's created, which I think is kind of his brand mascot, kind of like a pink version. They're very kind of punk rock kind of t-shirts. And this one kind of rem uh, reminds me a bit of a Bay Giant somehow, which is kind of interesting. Kind of reminds me of a Bay Giant a little bit. I don't know why, but I think it just, I think it's obviously, obviously it's his face. Uh, and he kind of like, uh, it's got that bit of a, that vibe around it. And then the other guy who kind of was responsible for the album cover um, was, oh, I've forgotten his name now, <laughs> Gus, Gus Van Sant. And he was more of the photographer slash filmmaker who came up with a bunch of uh, different uh, images and he effectively came up with these photos. And these are kind of like alternate photos, I think, that weren't necessarily used on the album cover. I think they're kind of very similar, but they weren't actually used. So there's all the four band members with their tongues out, basically. And um, that kind of then became the album cover, effectively. And what Hank uh, did, the tattoo artist, was effectively just create these um, cool kind of spirally looking, um, what would you call them? I guess floral or ornate kind of floral kind of designs around this rose. And so, yeah, so the photographer, Gus Van Sant, these are four of the original photos. Uh, this was at an auction for music collectibles and that's been sold already, I believe. So, um, so yeah. So that's kind of um, the crux of the album in terms of, kind of what what um what how it was created and i believe it kind of was created from photography initially uh, and then illustrated uh, to kind of come up with this awesome album cover 
So yeah, so that's kind of like the little story uh, behind the album. It's an absolutely classic album. I'm sure you guys probably know it very well. Uh, it's got Under the Bridge on it, which is the biggest, probably the biggest single they did on that particular album. So yeah, so that was Album of the Week, guys. Um, Blood Sugar Sex Magic by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And uh, yeah, the artist and photographer was Hank Schiffmacher and uh, Gus Van Sant. <laughs> 